It's a yeah, full chrome molly tube chassis. Um, it's put together by Dennis Sarmento up in uh, Sacramento. Paint job, uh, really nice flame paint job. It was done by a super stock racer, Robert Glenbaki. Uh, as I said before, it's a 540 cubic inch big block Chevy uh, built by Steve Schmidt. And uh, inside for super gas, I have all the usual electronics and safety equipment. I have to wear, as you can see, a, a big three layer fireproof suit, which uh, gets pretty hot in these summer days, but luckily with a cool vest and uh, hopefully you're not in there too long, it keeps you cool. But it does get pretty hot. I'm burning a lot of fuel through there probably get uh, close to one mile a gallon, but that's okay these days. It's a two-speed power glide transmission and uh, pretty much have all the, the bells and whistles in there. First of all, as you can see, it's a tight fit, so you actually have to climb in through the top. There is no door on this car. The only way to get in this car is pretty much to remove the steering wheel. So first of all, we'll start by clicking on the steering wheel. It's actually a safety mechanism too, so I can get out quickly. I can just unclick the steering wheel and throw it aside and get out if I have to. To start up the car, pretty much, I have everything on switches, so there's no standard key like you might find in a regular Corvette. So pretty much I would hit my ignition switch and hit my starter button, things will fire up. Greg Matthews from Pleasant Hill, California, loved running his super gas for a bit. Hell yeah. It gets your attention. The hardest obstacle is probably traction. Out here, traction gets pretty tricky sometimes. And those first few seconds, it actually is kind of blurry because you're pulling so many G-forces. So between the G-forces and uh, slippery conditions because of so much horsepower, it, it gets your attention. It's a handful. What's your 60-foot times? Uh, 119, 118, so pretty quick. 